it felt like drowning, that the inability to breathe, something that we take completely for granted, um, is beyond uh, it's beyond beyond explanation. Unless you've experienced it yourself, um, you wouldn't know how dangerous it is. That potentially you might be two breaths away from um, from not surviving. Not had much symptoms really, apart from just a little bit of a dry cough. When that temperature started um, to come on, fever was absolutely relentless. And within a week, I was in the hospital. It's, it's an absolute terror. It's an absolute terror. Without exaggeration, you essentially feel like you are going to drown. A point when I ended up in, in the ICU, um, I thought I might not be coming out of it. The staff have really worked hard and, and really I'm so grateful they've saved my life. I'm not fully recovered um, as yet. Um, I'm still taking medication to relieve the um, inflammation in, in my chest. I'm still out of breath. Um, and you know, somebody who would go running twice, three times a day around the park, around the marina, um, I can barely walk up the stairs really. I urge everybody, especially young people who um, might be getting really um, fed up by being locked up and not being able to do anything and wanting to go out there and socialise with others, please don't do it because you are just as much at risk as anybody else. A lot of a lot of people who end up being positive um, with COVID are asymptomatic. So you might not know that you have COVID and you are passing it on to your loved ones when you go and see your grandparents uh, for a Sunday dinner, um, unwillingly um, putting others at risk who might not necessarily um, be as lucky as you are.